Welcome! Shalom! This time we'll go over some of WebXR export features and how they work with Unity's XR Manager. I have some tips about working on WebXR in Unity. Let's start with some confusing XR origin settings and how they relate to WebXR. When tracking origin mode is not specified, which is Unity's default in most of the samples, you can set camera Y offset. As you can see in this case. For this setting, you'll need to use local WebXR reference space by going to project settings and under, web, uh, under XR plugin management, going to the WebXR settings window. Okay, so as you can see, our VR required reference space and AR required reference space are both set to local. As it sets the root of the world base uh, on the pose of the device, while for tracking or in origin mode flow, you'll need to use local floor. WebXR reference space, as it sets the root of the world based on the pose of the device relative to the floor. Let's uh, set it back to local. If you want to use Unity's XR device simulator, as we can see here, uh, it is similar to the local WebXR reference space. So in that case, you might want to use not specified in the tracking origin mode, and set the camera Y offset, and as we showed before, set a local WebXR reference space. More about the different WebXR reference spaces can be found in the WebXR API docs or on an MDN. Let's change uh, to another topic. Uh, let's talk about calling WebXR export methods from code. The WebXR uh, package, uh, packages rely on assembly definition. To better separate code and reduce compilation and build times. Let's say that we want to enter XR uh, using a button in the scene. As we can see here, we have enter VR and enter AR. And then, uh, so we need to check uh, if the platform supports VR or AR, and then we need to call enter XR when the button is clicked. So first, we need assembly definition uh, file in our script folder. As you can see here, we have the WebXR demo assembly definition file. We need to reference the relevant WebXR package as assembly definition file. We see that we already set it here under the assembly definition references. Uh, if something changes, we need to hit apply. And then uh, we can call uh, using for the WebXR namespace. As we can see in the script here. So the WebXR manager contains lots of useful properties and uh, and methods to call and get info from the WebXR API. We can check if XR is supported. 
like we do here. We can get an update if support uh, status change, like we see here when we register for uh, this event. And we can call enter or exit from XR mode. As you can see here, we call toggle AR and toggle VR. And we can see in the scene where we have the canvas and they have the different buttons that reference the enter WebXR controller. Uh, now let's talk about URP, built-in render pipeline, the XR display subsystem, and different Unity versions. In this version, we use Unity built-in render pipeline. Uh, we can see that the main camera has, refer has component of WebXR camera. This component uh, reference uh, an array of cameras instead of only using one camera in the scene. In this case, we will, uh, we will want to uh, disable the XR display subsystem. Why is that? Unity's XR SDK doesn't fully support web, and it has some issues in its XR display subsystem on this platform. In some cases, it works well, and you'll want to use it, as most of the tools built for XR in Unity rely on that. We can see that in the other demo, where we enable the XR display subsystem, and we use only one camera and in this case we are using the component of WebXR camera settings so in some cases it works well in other cases you'll want to disable it and use an array of cameras for the views instead notice that WebXR camera settings in, is intended to be used with the XR display uh, subsystem like in this case and when using WebXR camera it should be disabled. For that we have a setting in the WebXR settings window as you can see here to enable and disable the XR display subsystem. If you want to support WebXR export, you can like and subscribe to this channel, star the WebXR uh, export repository, and sponsor on GitHub. Thanks for watching and see you next time.